Okay, what we're gonna be doing now, we're gonna be making a piece to install a... Z-axis uh, digital readout. That's one I got from Shars a few months ago and I just haven't had a chance to get it going yet. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be making it out of this quarter, eight, quarter inch piece of round aluminum here, 60, 61. And uh, what we're gonna do first is, uh, I'm gonna drill a hole in it to make it a little lighter all the way through, about uh, uh, 3 8 7 16 somewhere along there. I'm gonna take it over and see if it fits. Okay, so we're gonna set this up in the mill now and uh, we've got two holes to drill in it. Well, this is gonna be the uh, top block and the bottom block to hold this uh, uh, DRO here on the uh, bottom of the quill and up here at the top. And uh, they'll mount to there, and then the uh, DRO itself will mount to them. So, uh, that being said, let's get started. Okay, we're getting, uh, starting to put the holes in them now. We got to uh, put the uh, 
two holes in each one uh, for a uh, clearance for a four millimeter screw. <coughs> well, that was my quick kick in the camera. I bet that scared y'all. <laughs> I've already got them spot drilled. I almost forgot to turn the camera on. Okay, now we got to mill uh, one eighth of an inch to the line that I got scribed there. Okay, here we go. Now we got to uh, let me uh, get y'all over here where I can show you what we're gonna do. Now we gotta fit these pieces. This is the one that goes down here. Let me get it focused in here. It ain't wanting to focus. There we go. Okay, it's gonna go right here. And this other one that's in the mill, it'll go on the top. But that's the reason it had to be deeper, see it's hitting right here. Let me get this. Still had it zoomed in for the cut. I had to go 200 thousandths deeper on this cut right here because it was hitting right here. So it'll be sitting like that right there. So we gotta transfer some holes and uh, then we'll be back. We ain't gonna be able to get in there and uh, film transferring those holes because we're going to have to set these in here and get all up in there with the punch and uh, some kind of clamp to hold it on there. So we'll be back uh, uh, when we uh, start putting the uh, DRO on and do some more explaining about it. Okay, we got her done and assembled and back on here. And what we did... Uh, now it works just fine. I've got to uh, check it. I'm going to set up an indicator and check it, and I'll be right back to show y'all. Okay, we are back. We got this one set on zero. And we got this set on zero. Now we're going to move this down well let's just go up here let's see well right there well that's a half over and uh, I believe that's going to be close enough uh, seems to be pretty accurate. So, uh, and, uh, 
it turned out pretty good. It uh, it wasn't too hard of a project. I did, uh, let's see, how much did I cut off? I think I cut uh, uh, off of this. I used the uh, four, inch, four and a half inch side grinder and cut uh, uh, about an inch and a quarter off of this end up here. You can see it's this you used to could read all of it before I cut that off when it was in the bracket. So uh, I cut that off where it wouldn't be sticking up here so high. But it seems to be going to work out pretty well. I'm thinking about uh, putting a DRO on the uh, knee, but uh, uh, that'll have to be a later on project. Uh, I don't know how much these... Uh, I would have to change units and everything because the DRO that's on it's a new a new a new wall N E W A L L oh uh, and they're about fifteen hundred dollars and I'm not gonna pay that for one so I'd have to change the whole setup it probably won't never get done if uh, so I'll just probably use a knee as it is so with that being said i appreciate y'all stopping by and uh the mill is running and it uh really surprised me as how quiet it is uh i did find out one thing if i can get on this little step ladder here it was pretty noisy when i first started it up and i found this by accident it's a bearing <coughs> it's a bearing right here in this plate right here and this is the plate that the uh, power drawbar hooks to and I took it off and uh, uh, just messing with it and just happened to turn the bearing and it was pretty sticky it turned freely and then it'd hang like it was wanting to hang up and I just happened to have another bearing that size and I put it in there and it uh, made a hundred percent difference like I said I just found it by accident I wasn't looking for it uh, this draw bar is, I bought one I'll show it to you let me get off of the stool before I fall I'll go back over here to the desk it's in a mess because I've been working here all morning this is a draw bar I bought. Uh, they sell them for uh, $134, I think, on eBay, uh, plus shipping. Ends up being about $145, I think. But it's a, it, it's, uh, it's about what you got paid for. It, uh, it, the holes, didn't none of them line up. And uh, I've got the holes where they line up now, but uh, it's the way it's made. It just don't. It doesn't. Just don't work good. And uh, I'm gonna modify it. I'm gonna try to uh, do some modifications to it. And uh, when that uh, happens, I'll uh, video it and show y'all. Uh, this is just a little old Harbor Freight Butterfly 3 8 uh, drive air air ratchet. Uh, which it, it'll do the job because I've seen them in action before. But uh, they were made a lot better than this one was. It's just, uh, this came in, this plate here. Now this has been deburred and this had been deburred and this had been deburred. But this plate right here, just razor sharp edges on it. Just, I mean, just razor sharp. And uh, didn't have no detent. I did, I have went in here and put a detent. Uh, and this, this is not a steel piece, this is Delron, or some kind of plastic or something, but I did come in here, before it just hang wherever, now it's got a detent, it'll go back to, in that hole, and turn it off, so, uh, there's a, there's a little, uh, detent screw I put down in there, it's a little, uh, it's some little pin spring uh, set screws that I had uh, 
from uh, work a long time ago, and uh, that was just a one or two. I think I got two of them, three of them maybe, that I had left over and never did uh, uh, use. But uh, that's our next project. Well, I ain't gonna say that. That's a project down the road because I got another project uh, I'm fixing to start on is uh, I'm gonna I've got a power feed for this knee and I'm gonna put it on sooner or later and I got a power feed for this sitting over there on the shelf and I'm gonna do it sooner or later but I want to make me a piece here to uh, work the knee that's a ratchet type uh, uh, that'll fit on a drill. So I'm going, uh, that's going to be my next project probably. So, and uh, I'll do a project on the mountain knees, uh, uh, power feeds too. It's already got one over here on the, uh, it came with the mill. I had to, uh, the guy had bought it and uh, set it on there, but it didn't work when I got it. Uh, he didn't have it adjusted right. I adjusted it, to, and it works like a charm now. But uh, that being said, we're going to say good evening to y'all, and uh, God bless. And if you hadn't subscribed, please do so, and uh, click the little bell to get your notifications. And if you like the video and the content, click the like, thumbs up button there, and uh, we'll catch y'all on the next video. Good night.